weekly in-depth view of agriculture up close. This is In the Field. There is no doubt, technology has had an impact on nearly everything we do in life. So why not our cattle markets? We're here in Northwest Arkansas to see how just one alternative marketing element impacts positively both buyer and seller. So most, most folks would have uh, memories of grandpa or great grandpa of, of loading their cattle up and taking them to the livestock market and mm -hmm. the cattle actually walking into a building across a cell ring and people standing around bidding on cattle that day that change ownership that day. Uh, we are in our 32nd year at Spear Livestock and we are the nation's largest marketer of livestock. Uh, we sell more cattle than anybody in the U.S. and we sell them in truckload lots off the video and internet, mm -hmm. broadcast on television, on our bigger sales and internet sales on the bye weeks um, and, and we market those cattle on what we call a forward contract. So. Mm -hmm anywhere from what we would call immediate delivery, mm -hmm. which may simply be a week or 10 days after we actually sell mm -hmm. the cattle, to as much as months down the road. Well, let's talk about you and your day to day. I know that okay. the truck that you pulled in is, is your office. And yes, home, that's, away from yeah, home. that's right. That's right. Uh, so for me and my customers, um, and, and I am a little different than the average superior reps, most of the guys, especially those that came before me, mm -hmm. probably operate in a 250 to 500 mile radius from mm -hmm. home. Um, me and my team, I've got five reps that work with me, um, but we ship cattle out of 13 states last year from Idaho to North Carolina and North oh Dakota to Texas. So mm -hmm. I put a lot of miles on and this time of year, primarily what we're doing is um, we are, we have been selling our fall born calves. So as, as people out there listening, mm -hmm. those are the cows that calved last fall. We've mm -hmm. weaned their calves off. We've now sold those calves. This set of cattle we're loading today is some of the last of the fall born calves I have. Well, you talked about being um, in business for over 30 years. Yes, How has that technology changed? Because, sure. you know, every day, you know, uh, there's more advances to making this opportunity um, more diverse right. and more open to many. In general, the way it started was uh, livestock market owners, mm -hmm. brick and mortar livestock market owners, came together with an idea of having a way to sell cattle in load lots fresh off of the farms and ranches that didn't encompass a person bringing them to the livestock auction and they could gr provide a greater access to a buyer that was going to have the flexibility to buy at his convenience. Next week we're going to sell 200,000 head wow. and we'll have buyers all across the country bidding from inside their feed trucks and their tractors while they're in the field to sitting in their office to sit, being on hand at the auction with us with not a single head of livestock in the building. You know, looking at the past 30 years and how it's changed mm -hmm. the way we market cattle, what's the future look like? Sure, and I think uh, as, as all of us have been around, mm -hmm. uh, the technology we utilize now, just like we started out talking about those big heavy cameras. Well, I yeah. have one that literally fits in the palm of yeah, my hand. Yeah, we're doing it on this right That's now. That's right, mm -hmm. and, and we have the technology now with the cameras in our phones that, mm -hmm. that are almost as good as what we have on, on video. And I think just having the convenience for the buyer, one, to allow him to make a decision ahead of time so that on his time frame, his schedule, he can analyze the offering we're gonna have and, and not be dependent on trying to get a, a, a mass of information unknown to him mm -hmm. just minutes before he has to make a purchase decision. Because you've got to remember, these buyers are buying cattle today mm -hmm. that they may get delivered weeks down the line, mm -hmm. months down the line, that they're going to put on feed and may get harvested months down the lines. So in some cases, a year from now, when the calf leaves the ranch mm -hmm. to when he actually gets harvested, there's a lot of variables that happen. So allowing him some time to do his background work mm -hmm. and his thinking allows that flexibility for him and then bringing it to him in his own, in, in, at his convenience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have buyers that, like we said, are on site and they've got a laptop set up in front of them and they're actually bidding on cattle in the room while mm -hmm. the auction's going on with a live auctioneer bidding on cattle over the internet. Mm -hmm. um, we've got guys that are watching on their phones you know, they're plowing cornfields and yeah. they've got their phone running on the auction. You know, there's a lot of times- Multitasking's I, great That's right, that's <laughs> right. But it, it all comes to them in at their convenience mm -hmm. for the buyer and that's what's nice. You know, we jokingly say, I mean, Superior is known for selling cattle, but in all honesty, mm -hmm. we're a customer service business yeah. and it is people selling to people. You know, and everybody gets treated fairly and that's the way that we want it to mm -hmm. work because long-term we're building relationships on both ends.